At home and my YouTubers, welcome to the post game comments after the least victory. I'm not going to take it to the live post game. What if you could do SEO smarter and faster? With Wix, you can edit your meta tags page by page or all in one go. Jake, what do you like most about the performance tonight? I think just our mentality to start the game really carried us through. Um, I thought we had a really dominant first period, and um, you know the score is still 1-1 after that, and um, we just stuck with it. Had a shift by shift mentality and. Uh, Pay dividends at the end. What's it say to do this without Austin? Yeah, I mean, it's. I talked about it earlier today, and um, different guys are going to step up, and um, we had that throughout the lineup. Had a great effort all the way through, and you need depth in the playoffs, and that's what we showed tonight. Everyone contributed, and um, you know, we gave ourselves another chance to do it again at home ice. What, what, did, what, did, what did the group show tonight, Jake? I mean, we've been resilient all year. I feel like we've been bouncing back pretty good after losses, and. Um, we showed that tonight, and um, you know we have a lot more hockey to play in us. And uh, like I said, it gives us another chance to to get it right on home ice here. Were there any nerves? Matthew Nice, not only tonight, but the last two games, which really seemed to elevate his game. <clears throat> yeah, all, I mean, all uh, all series long, he's been a force. I feel like to be reckoned with, and you know, I was telling him he's the strongest guy in the ice. I mean, he's 21 years old, and he's an absolute horse out there, and does a lot of great work for us on the forecheck. And you know, he's so he's been starting to kill penalties, and. Uh, See him get rewarded there at the G Dub is, uh, you know, fitting for a guy that's been working his uh, working his tail off all series. Yeah, and about about Joseph tonight for you guys, Joseph Wall. Yeah, I mean, status cool from Wall. They're cool, cool, calm, and collected back there, making big saves for us, uh, giving us a chance all night, um, as expected. Any sense of uh, nerves at all through the third period or even early into overtime? No, I mean, once you're in it, you're in it. Uh, people are probably more nervous watching than we are playing because you're just. You're in that shift by shift mentality, like I talk about, and um, you know you're just competing, and that's what the game's all about. What did you appreciate about how Max kind of stepped into that first line run and handled things today? Back where you belong. You've seen, uh, I think we've all seen Max um, all season long step into different roles throughout the season when we've had injuries or illnesses, and whether it's at wing or at the center, and um, he's come a big for us. And like I talk about depth, and he's a, he's a key part of that, and. You know, filling in center on that top line um, did a tremendous job for us, like he's been doing all year. What do you see on your Last goal? One, guys. What do you see on the goal? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, just setting up for a D one timer. Mitch gives it to me and try to find a lane and uh, went in. There you go. Thanks, Jake. Thanks. What do you like most about the performance tonight? Yeah, big win. Um, obviously, nice to see the boys get rewarded. I thought we played great all night, but empty that and uh, try to flush that and get ready for the next game. What can you say about Matthew Nice where his game is at right now? It's a huge goal. So, you know, like I said, everyone stepped up tonight. We had four lines going and uh, 60. Obviously, Joe Wall stepped into a tough spot and stood on his head. So, You're everyone one. went. Yeah, you're one of the guys that stepped up. I mean, first line center taking up those faceoffs, winning up those faceoffs. Where did that come from for you? No, oh, Mitchie and Bert were, were jumping pretty hard, and obviously, uh, sometimes I mean, you just got to compete and want the puck more than the other guy. So, um, yeah. They blew, they blew a three-one lead last year, Max, and you planted a seed of doubt in that room. Don't care. We're, we're getting ready for the next game. Nothing else matters. Which was Joseph Wall tonight? Just his performance, keeping you guys in it. Yeah, like I just said, he's. Unbelievable. I mean, he made some huge saves there. Obviously, we came out of the gates flying, and uh, that's a really tough spot for the goalie to be in. Um, when he only sees one or two shots against a team like that and in a playoff game. Um, he's been sitting around for a while, so shows uh, how mature he is and obviously the presence that he brings when he steps in between the pipes. That's, that's great to see, so huge part of this one. What works so well, do you think, for the team in the first period there where you guys had a pretty decided advantage? Um, we, we, we had all four lines going. Um, like I just said, I know it's cliche, but everyone was ready to go, playing for our lives, and uh, we weren't going to be denied tonight. So, got to give credit to Boston. They, uh, kind of, no matter what we threw at them, they, they always stayed pretty sound and in control. But we found a way to get the job done. So, um, move on to the next one, and we're going home to 
kind of repeat and do the same thing. Austin's a pretty big hole, uh, leaves a big hole in the lineup. What have you noticed about the group this year? Why do you think you guys have been able to kind of step up in those times when you've been without either Austin or someone else? All I can really speak on is tonight, and uh, like I said, every every single guy in this locker room stepped up. So uh, we're excited uh, whenever Tone gets back. He's the best player in the world, so obviously when he comes back, it's going to be a boost for our lineup. And um, the boys weren't uh, weren't going to let that one slide. We wanted to give him a chance to get back in the lineup, and uh, we did that. So um, like I said, get ready for the next one. Thank you. Did you see on that overtime goal? When when did you think I'm I'm taking this puck to the net? Well, I think as soon as I was able to enter the zone with decent possession and get a little bit of speed. Uh, had a few thoughts kind of into my mind on how I wanted to attack and um, at the end of the day I just kind of wanted to throw a puck in there and just uh, on, a, on a difficult angle and just uh, just uh, ho- hopefully to cause uh, some confusion or um, you know just a, an opportunity for us to get on it and, and great job by Nisey arriving at the net at the right time and, and um, you know reading it and, and making a play on it and getting the winner. A lot going against this group, what did this group show tonight? We're just going to keep fighting, uh, you know, uh, keep believing, keep trusting each other, and keep uh, keep working to uh, um, play again. Uh, obviously, uh, earning the chance uh, Thursday, and 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 obviously we'll now the opportunity to follow that up and, and send it to seven. Considering how long the tweet starts, what did you make of the way Joseph played? Today? Yeah, he was fantastic. Uh, he just looked really calm, really under control. Uh, was seeing it really well, tracking it. Um, obviously extremely talented and, and uh, such a great pro. So the way he's uh, stayed on things uh, over the last uh, little while, um, didn't miss a beat. What said that about Nice's performance tonight? You know, I think Nice has been great all series, just uh, just playing heavy hockey. Uh, obviously, we know uh, what he can do with his size and his strength and the power that he brings and obviously uh, has soft hands and, and playmaking ability and, and finishing ability has really, really started to come on here for us. So. Um, you know, great to see him get rewarded uh, in a big moment. Do you think a win like that shifts some pressure over to their side now? You know, we're just going to keep playing and continue to make it as difficult as we can be and, and uh, um, you know, continue to earn to keep playing. And uh, if that's the case, obviously, uh, um, you know, like I said, we want to try to make it difficult any, ways, uh, any way we can. You lived a 3-1 lead and you've, you've had you've seen it slip away. Like, what is it like when that doubt starts to, to slip into, the, into a room? Um... I mean, you know that that was a weird, a weird series, a weird time for me, considering the circumstances around the pandemic and and my status there. Um, but uh, obviously, uh, yeah, the more opportunities you have and, and you don't close on it, obviously, um, then you get a little bit tighter. So you know, we're just going to keep playing and trying to keep making it difficult and and uh, earn the right uh, um, for another one. Austin, Austin leaves some big shoes, Bob. And obviously, Austin leaves some big skates to fill. What do you make of the job Max did stepping in tonight? I think Max has been great all series, his playmaking ability, and I think he really enjoys and thrives uh, this time of year, this type of hockey. And I really feel over the last two or three months, he's really can become a, a big fabric of the team on and off the ice and really has kind of found uh, how he impacts things uh, in many different areas. But certainly, um, you know, he's got high end talent and sees the ice extremely well, and I thought made a lot of good plays, especially. You know, I don't think he's trying to replicate being Austin. I think no one can. You know, it's a, you know, he's a generational talent. So um, everyone just stepping up a little bit. And I thought Max uh, uh, really did that with just playing his game uh, at a really high level. What do you see on the overtime goal, and how do you describe the feeling when the puck goes? Yeah, I mean that was pretty. Uh, it was a pretty incredible play by Johnny there uh, to drive the net and um, to make that play happen. Um, it all started with him, and then you know, kind of just found my stick and. Uh, you know, I was fortunate to, to bury that one and, and uh, send us back home. What do you think it as it goes in? Like, how do you describe the emotion of the overtime? Winner? Yeah, it's uh, gosh, you, you black out a little bit. You know, um, uh, I was just so excited and so happy, and um, you know, I think what brought me more joy was to see the faces of my teammates and um, you know how much that how much they wanted to you know keep playing and keep moving on. Joseph, uh, what what did it mean to you? to get this start, and how would you describe your emotions throughout this one? Yeah, um, I was obviously very happy to, to get in the net and, and happy that, you know, the, the coaches and the team have, have faith in me, and um, it's, uh, you know, it's a great win for us, obviously, and, you know, excited to go back on home ice. Matthew, what do you think the group showed tonight? The Walker against you guys, you don't have Austin. Power plays not working. What did the group show to get it back to Toronto? 
Yeah, I just I think our urgency, you know, um, I think our depth as well. You know, Waller stepped in for us and, and played a great game, and, and same with Domes, he stepped into into Austin's role, and um, I think they both did a great job, and I think everyone just uh, you know kind of raised their level and, and an urgency, and I think that uh, that helped us get a win here today. Matt, you was Joseph gotten quite tight. Uh, why do you think he was able to come into this game and show the closure again? Yeah, I mean, getting to know him, he's, he's a pretty calm and uh, collected uh, individual. And, um, you know, I feel pretty safe when he's he's in that there. You know, he's, uh, um, you know, I think he's just, uh, you know, very calm, sees the, sees the ice well. And, um, yeah, I trust him a lot. So, <laughs> Have you, did these playoffs feel different for you from last year? I mean, I think the, the objective and our, our goal is the same. Um, you know, obviously, there's different players on, on our team and, and um, you know, facing a different beast in Boston. But um, you know, I think the objective is the same. And, and I think we, uh, we executed our plan really well today. And um, just fortunate that we could um, you know, go back home and keep this rolling. Personally, though, does it feel any different personally? Uh, not to me. No, I think it's, it's still the same, same mindset, same everything for me. Joe, kind of the same question. You came in last year in the elimination game. How was this all for you? Yeah, um, that uh, that experience last year definitely definitely helped and um, felt uh, more comfortable coming into the situation. Um, so yeah, it was uh, you know like like Nizi said, it's it's the same mindset for our group and um, you know it's every year it's the same mindset I think and uh, each each time you get a little more experience and you learn from your mistakes. So I think. Um, you know, this time around, I'm really confident with our group. Matthew, what was it like between the third period overtime and in the room? Yeah, I mean, I think um, you know everyone still had their head up high, and and we're we're focused on um, just you know live the fight another day. Um, I think it was uh, you know there there was uh, there wasn't any uh, I, I guess you could say quit, but there wasn't any. Um, you know, heads down low. I think everyone was just just focused on doing their role, doing their job when it came came time, and um, you know, everyone's just uh, excited to go back. Joe, what was it like to play in an environment like this in a city that you know so well? Yeah, it's pretty special. I mean, having the time of my life out there. Um, it's uh, you know, it's a place I've played a lot of a lot of big games, and um, to come in here and play the Bruins and an eliminate, elimination game is, is pretty special. So you know, I, I thought from you know the, the drop of the puck. Uh, our team just had a different level of urgency, and um, you know made me confident back there. You're so calm. Last few guys, I'm just wondering what you're thinking when the skate plate comes off. <laughs> I was really confused. Actually, it's, it's never happened to me. So I'd, it took me like a few seconds to realize what happened. I was like, why can't why can't I push right now? Um, and thankfully, you know the ref uh, the ref was able to blow the whistle for me. So it was, it was good. So, so when did you find out that you were starting? And how did you find out? Um. I think, honestly, I don't exactly remember the the moment. It, just kind of the, yeah, just between between us coaches and, and Curtis and I. Sheldon, what don't we see about Joseph Wall's composure all season? Um, <clears throat> I, I guess I'd say less about composure. I mean, it's more just about consistency, I guess, in his routine and. Uh, you know, he works really hard. He, you know, he fought through a tough injury, you know, this season, and then that sort of derailed what was, you know, a tremendous season to that point. But uh, he stayed with it. You know, I think he's, you know, since the playoffs uh, began or, you know, once we were sort of preparing that last week, you, you know, when, once Joe really knew he wasn't going to be starting, uh, starting in game one of the playoffs, it was really obvious to me that he was, you know, going to just continue to work and do everything that he could and prepare as though he were playing and staying ready. So uh, he's certainly done that, and because of that, because of that, and how you know how this the game and the series have gone, I mean, we've had daily discussions about you know when's the right time to get Joe in, and and uh, because of Sammy and how he's played and how he's competed and how he's bounced back so many times, including from game one of this series to game two. Um, you know, you, you stay with Sammy, but um, you know he showed uh, Joe showed tonight. You know why why you have confidence in him. Sheldon playing without Austin and facing elimination tonight. What stood out the most about the performance you got from the team as a whole tonight? I would say just the, uh, I guess just the aggression 
the assertiveness that we played with from the start. You know, we didn't uh, feel sorry for ourselves. We didn't mail it in. Uh, you know, we we went out to ch take charge of the hockey game in the first period, and I thought we did a terrific job uh, of that. Uh, tremendous effort from everybody in that first period. Um, difficult to come out of that with only you know at one one, you know. But that was as I said to the guys, uh, you know, between periods is play a, play a tremendous period yet we're still one one. That's how hard this is. That's how tight this is, and you got to just stay with it. Stay with it. It's going to require 60 minutes, and tonight even more than that. But uh, yeah, the way we went out and took charge of the game and asserted ourselves early, uh, I thought was uh, uh, was impressive and uh, really, really good message from the players to, to deliver like that. Just a, a word on, on how Max Domi stepped up with, with Austin out for you guys on that top line, especially in that first period, you guys really tilted the ice. <laughs> yeah, the line was really good. Max did a tremendous job. Did a really good job of ensuring that that line didn't have to spend a lot of time in our end because of how they were skating, how they were working, how they were on the puck. Um, you know, the, as much as we got guys with lots of skill, and Max is certainly one of them that can make plays at the neutral zone, all that, like our game and our, our, our period and, you know, our start to the game has to begin with a forecheck, has to begin with work and competing. That's, that's the playoffs. That's, that's what this series certainly demands. And uh, that line did that extremely well. They really, really worked. So uh, as, because of that, they got some favorable pucks. And they got pucks back. They were able to attack the net and spend lots of time on offense. So yeah, they were tremendous tonight. And uh, credit to Max stepping up is outstanding in, in the face-off circle as well. Uh, so yeah, it was really good and clearly needed uh, here tonight. How would you compare the Matthew Nyes that had to jump right into the playoffs last year to the one we're seeing in this series? <sighs> Well, I think Matthew Nyes was was terrific last year in the playoffs, you know. Um, so to that end, I would say it's pretty similar, you know. I think he came in on a on a high of adrenaline high last year and didn't really know much. He's just in and playing and being a big, strong guy that's working with a good stick. Um, but he's been really building, you know, this series game by game. He's been getting better and better. I thought tonight was terrific. It's very fitting that uh, he gets the winner um, first on an incredible effort by John uh, Tavares to drive wide and get the puck to the net front. Uh, but fitting because nice he's worked really hard. Um, you know, it's terrific. You know, happy as as I was waiting outside for for uh, those guys to finish up up here. You know, it's, it's not lost on it. You got two young guys up here that make a make a real impact uh, in the game here tonight so that's terrific to see Sheldon with the way your guys asserted themselves and the fact that you're making the Bruins uh, take a road trip they don't want to take do, do you feel you put some pressure towards their side with this win yeah I think so I mean that's what you want to do right uh, you, you want to build positive momentum your own way and uh, yeah you want to make them be uncomfortable you know you want to make them have to pack up and head out to Toronto yet at the same time probably unlike unlike or, or just like I should say um, us when we're coming here I mean I'm talking about hey we went there in game two we played great we won the last game we were here I'm sure they're talking about it just the same they're comfortable confident playing in Toronto so uh, as difficult as this one was here tonight the next one's going to be even harder you know, no matter where the game is played, because now you sort of you got them, you got their attention again. You know, um, I think I'm sure part of the first period is them a little unsure as to how we were going to handle ourselves here tonight, and uh, you know, uh, I don't think that will have that advantage um, mentally going into the next game, psychologically. But uh, we'll have to we'll have to make sure, obviously, that we get that right, and we haven't been good on home ice, so you know, we've earned ourselves another opportunity to fix that.